welcome back to Africa 54. It's time for our Music Maker segment and a warm welcome to Music Time in Africa host, Heather Maxwell. Please introduce us to our featured musician today. Sure. This is Os Osman Mohialdin Osman, a violinist from Sudan. So I caught up with him recently at the World Bank here in Washington, D.C. He was giving a noontime concert. Well, so what you're about to see is uh, an introduction and then a bit of him performing. And the introduction is interesting because it talks about the context of music in Sudan today. Amazing. Let's watch it. Okay. I come from Sudan when it was one Sudan. Sudan that displayed a colorful array of music and dance and languages such that a bride in Sudan danced to the tunes from all parts of the country, regardless of where she came from. I come from a Sudan where Muslims celebrated Christmas, they colored eggs in Easter, and Christians broke fast with their Muslim neighbors during Ramadan and shared the Eid feast. This may be a different picture from what you know of the Sudan, of the two Sudans today, ridden with conflict, and with poverty and strife. Yet despite these differences, the music remains regardless where you are in Sudan. It gives me great pleasure to welcome one of our musical talents, Osman Muhyiddin Osman, supported in keyboards by Mr. Mahir Tajassir. Thank you. All of you, just I want. I wouldn't like you to just sit like that. Do whatever you want to do, okay? So, if you know your eyes, what's doing? It's also a weapon, you know. The eye is a weapon. You know what I mean? This is composed by one of the greatest um, singers in Sudan, Hamad al -Rayah. Very, very exciting. He got those people of the World Bank <laughs> dancing, yeah, jamming was, to his violin. That was one of the best parts. Yes. Yeah. Now, the interesting part is that uh, this is a kind of a very modern Western instrument, the violin, and on, there's a keyboard. Sure. But he's not necessarily following the Western rules to playing this game. Not at all. Mm -hmm. In fact, he explained to me after in an interview that he takes uh, a lot of his lead in terms of techniques from yeah. a traditional string instrument uh, called the tambour. Mm -hmm. So he taps on it, he knocks on it, he plays with uh, you know, a lot of gusto when he's hitting the strings. And, mm -hmm. and so it's really very Sudanese. Yeah, so, and this is what's happening a, a lot with m modern musicians, is that they're finding it useful to use this modern instrument, yeah, but they're why tapping not? to their traditional yeah. uh, kind of uh, music styles. Why not? It's yeah. music. And so what is uh, the other unique thing about this guy? Well, the other thing is he has a school in Sudan mm -hmm. called the Magical Violin. And he, uh, he's teaching children mm -hmm. how to play the violin and trying to keep that tradition alive. That's impressive. Yeah. Uh, we have uh, some of his uh, audio recordings here. Yes, we, we do. Hope someday we have him on the show. Yeah. Heather, thank you very much once again for that very, very exciting music. I make a segment. Thanks for having me. Yes. Now, uh, for, uh, to learn more about uh, the talented uh, Heather Maxwell and have VOA short time, uh, rather music time in Africa, visit Facebook and type in the keywords Heather Maxwell and you can see what time her radio program can be heard in your area and get more information about some of our featured artists.